Babu! Hey man, right heart's in your room. How you doing? This is my SWR, and it's my last one of 2015. It'll be New Year's on Friday. But, let's break it down. I hope you guys had a safe and Merry Christmas. I know I did. <laughs> I was home rest of the day. I got my brother, Super Mario Maker, and I've been uh, spending a lot of time with that game. <laughs> it's addicting, but... Yeah, but gift-wise, I actually got a new Dale Jr. hat. You see that blue one right there? If you can see it, it's a blue, wide, and black one. Um, and plus silver. And also, I got a jersey, or Oregon Ducks jersey, number six. Even though I have it at number six in my closet, that's the same jersey. But has my back name. Well, has my last name on the back. So, that's why it's specialized for me. <laughs> and, um, and plus, I got an MP4 player. And... Um, Got some uh, exercise clothes for Club 24 and all, and so I'm good. So, yep. And Bull Puzzle got some new headphones, too. It's been new. Let's break it down. Well, WWE had their Slammy Awards on Raw, and uh, of all of them, I say the fans aren't thinking or it was rigged. But as for Diva of the Year, This is what the PWI, well, I, well, the Portland Wrestling Internet, I think <laughs> they will, they all went into a, well, let's just say it's, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> everybody was, I mean, I don't think she deserved it. I think Paige should have deserved it, or Josh, Sasha Banks, but but still. That was rigged. Even though, yes, she held for the longest, as far as, yeah, in history, but that has to do nothing with it. It has to be your athleticism of what you accomplished. And for holding the Divas title, for breaking the, the uh, record, so to say, but to have a top matches. That what Banks had. Nikki, I can't recall what top matches she had for that for, for her reign, so it was rigged. Or apparently not enough fans watch NXT, I don't know. But still. <laughs> That's bad. And plus um next week John Cena returns to face uh, Alberto Del, Del Rio. Even though, I, like I said, I actually thought he used to be an entry for the Royal Rumble. He's a prize entry, but nope. So he's returning, and uh, he'll, he will be in the Rumble, but I think he will be the favorite to, to win it. But who's to say? Maybe not. You never know. Because the, because the Rumble this year is kind of a toss-up, so we'll see how it goes on the 22nd. And plus, NXT, uh, they're actually done with 2015. they got no more shows to do till next year because... Uh, they have their uh, highlights of, of the year, part one on Wednesday and part two in the, uh, well, next week. So, yeah. So, t two weeks of, of the greatest matches that they'll be airing. And plus, their rest of their London tour, they, they actually did. So, well, the rest of their matches, it was only, I think it was, yeah, just three matches they actually did. So, uh, Sami Zayn made a full return to defeat Ty Dillinger and... Um, and Samson, uh, he beat Bull Dempsey, and plus that fatal four-way tag team match was pretty awesome too. Uh, the Bob Dylans, Gable and Jordan, and um, the High Bros, and uh, Blake and Mur Murphy. But Jordan and Gable is looking looking pretty good to be tag champs. So they're they're getting up there. So and hey, they're well, hey, they're working the crowd. So much to say. But NFL, NFL, well. Well, Seahawks didn't have their full, full, didn't play very well. Plus, I heard there were some calls that were kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> but here's the here's the way I look at it for Seattle: that they're in the playoffs. They uh, they actually don't have to fight to get in there, and they are not out of the playoffs. So they're in. Okay, I mean, it doesn't matter, win or lose, they're in. So, they're in the playoffs, looking good. That's all I can say. I mean, 
they just had an off game. It's, it's all it was. I mean, Rams just played good, and and plus the the Rams have their moment of glory because they swept Seattle this year, and let them enjoy it because next year Seattle will strike right back. <laughs> so it's not over because it's a d division rivalry. It's what it is. And plus, uh, speaking of division rivals, they got Arizona for the last regular game of the season. So we'll see how all all that goes down next week and see if the Seahawks are really ready if they can beat the Cardinals, which I know they can. Just got to have that put potential back. And plus, that, they didn't have healthy players too, so yeah, it was kind of that. But um, the Carolina, the same two Dolphins, the perfect season is still intact. As the seven, eight and seven Falcons beat Carolina by touchdown. <laughs> so I guess Cam Old Scam was not smiling at the end, wasn't he? He was not showing his perfectly white teeth at the end. <laughs> oh boy, I love to see that because so now that the 72 Dolphins, their perfect season record is there still. Even though I hear a lot of them say like they have won more games than the Dolphins, I mean in, in 72, but here's the thing. No team has had a perfect season since those same two Dolphins. No team. Patriots almost done it. They came up one game short. And then every other team since then has not come even close. So. So I'm happy with that. To, to hear the, the good thing about the NFL this week. Not the bad. <laughs> so. But yeah. Get on that. The NBA, Portland, 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 blew out the Cavs, and they beat Sacramento tonight. Um, back to back. Even though it was a more closer game for for them in Sacramento, just the Cavs just gave up you know, on on Saturday. So, but <laughs> but that that was good. I mean, don't mind Portland. I mean, they got two players on the on the bench are kind of an injury. Damian's one of them, but CJ McCollum, he's on fire. So, like it. Blazes up in momentum, even though the playoffs are still looking meh. But see how? Let's see what they can do. I mean, uh, I mean, this season's not over. It's a building year. See how it all goes. Rest of the year. And um, and college football. Well, bowl games more kicked off. Uh, the Pac-12 is now uh, four and one. Uh, Washington, uh, uh, the the Cougars, uh, WSU. Be Miami by a by six points in the Sun Bowl, and Washington whooped Southern Miss, and then uh, but UCLA couldn't get past Nebraska though. So oh well, that's okay. First loss to Pac-12, don't mind. We just I'm um, looking forward to the Alamo Bowl this Saturday for the Ducks to beat TCU, and it will happen. Even though TCU's uh, one of the top receivers is it, it, it's not going to beat be playing due to a wrist injury, but that won't matter. They're ready to play. And plus, Ducks 2016 schedule is out. I will read you off the teams here. My brother gave me the um, uh, um, info on it last, well actually, yeah, it was on Christmas Eve. Okay, I have to do a Google search. I don't have it under here anymore. There we go. I have to go to the Pac-12 and go to Oregon. But as far as TV and times schedule, it's not on there yet. Which I don't think it's on there yet. I'll look. All right. 
First game, September the 3rd against UC Davis Aggies, and then, well, that's in Autzen, of course, and then at Autzen, facing facing Virginia on the 10th, then this will be the top, one of the top games of the season at Nebraska on the 17th. Yeah, <laughs> that one's going to be a tough one. And then uh, then we open Pac-12 play with Colorado at Autzen, and then facing WSU at Pullman, and then face Washington at Autzen, and then the bye week, and then California at California, then ASU at Autzen. Oh, plus facing California, it's on a Saturday. I mean, on a Friday, and there's no Thursday games to let you know. Then at USC on the on November fifth, then then the Cardinal at Autzen, then at Utah, and then the Civil War. And the federal, and then the federal championship. So, and plus that one's on Fox by the time it be announced. But yeah, the rest of these are TBA. So we'll wait until the college season, college football season kicks off, and that won't be until uh, close to August. And we'll go back and check on these. So, that's how it all comes down. And college basketball. Well, I didn't see any of my teams play, but I'll take a look. I'm on ESPN, so see if I missed any, any games. I doubt it, but like I say, I'll doesn't hurt to look. Their next game is Tuesday, facing W O O U. That's what it says. Oh yeah, plus they had a big game against Bama. Boom. <laughs> Too nice. Yep, that's in, uh, that's in the next game on the Pac-12 Network, which I don't get. Which is bull. And then they open conference play with civil with the Civil War round one on the third, so of uh, January. Okay, I'm gonna see if they got. I'm gonna see Gonzaga here in case they. I have not missed any, any games with them. Actually, none of the Oregon teams face Gonzaga anyways. I mean, the only team that, that they face is in the conference, and that that's the Portland Pilots. But Portland State, no. Beavers, no. Ducks, no. Gonzaga just doesn't want to want to take them on. I don't know. All right, let's take a look. See if Gonzaga has any games that I missed. And plus their conference game against Pepperdine, no problem. <laughs> that was a blowout. All right. Oh, they did have a game I missed, but and and, we, and was against uh, L, LMU and no problem. They beat them 85 to 62. <laughs> wow. So, and plus, their next game is at Santa Clara on New Year's Eve. So, that's the next one. So, looking forward to that. See how it all goes. But them and St. Mary's, it's going to be another uh, battle. Big battle. Because they are 10-1 right now. So, <laughs> it's going to, that's their big conference rival. So, see how it all shapes out. And, uh, anything else as far as, nah. And nothing too new. So I guess here's my VGM Toys of the Week.
Mandrails theme from Mega Man X Maverick Hunter. It's it's a it's an awesome remix. I like it. Thumbs up on, on it. So so and plus my subscriber of the week. Keely Vision. They are a radio, uh, well, both TV and radio out, out of Canada. Uh, they do a lot, a lot of miscellaneous things that they do. Uh, a lot of them I don't hardly watch. But the reason I uh, subscribed, well, subscribed to, to them was uh, because they had Jason Sensation on there. So, doing wrestling impersonations. So, but yeah. You guys can go check them out. Looks like they got some drunk, drunk shows, pretty much. And but plus they got a Keely Vision Radio as as well. Because they're both the same thing, so that's why. And they have no videos. Okay, the radio one has no videos, but. Yeah, just a lot of, but um, but also they have a thing called the Family Guy fan film Saturday Night Showdown with the wrestlers and the Family Guy. That one's kind of good. They, they they only have part one, no part two, because there's part two to that. So, yeah, because they have Jason Sensation doing all all the wrestlers in that one. That's pretty. It's pretty cool, and pretty funny. <laughs> and that's about it. So. So guys, go check them out if you like. So, so yeah. So videos coming next. I am uh, take, kind of taking a, a, a little break from from all nine because uh, had a, quite a couple of uh, frustrating games. So I just kind of taking a, a little break. I'll get back on that. And plus NASCAR seven. Now I see in a comment that why I'm not trying on the legend difficulty because I can't change it. I'm on veteran, it's the way it is, but hey, once I get to the trucks and Grand Nationals and Cup, it, it actually might not be as easy as you think, though. So look at it that way, because you because you might think it's easy now, but it might not get any easier going the rest of the way. So if I can, I can go into it, but I'm pretty sure I can't change it. But if I can, I will. So so just make you guys happy. I, I will do it if you want me. If I if I want to, if I can, put that way, if I can change it, I, I will. All right. So, and plus, I probably won't begin until I am at the truck series. Like I say, if I can do it. So, so anywho, uh, here in Pendleton's been pretty cold lately. <laughs> the cold front has come back, so it's been in the low 30s. Not fun working in, but hey, it's work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, work's been Christmas. Oh gosh, I was in the middle of it. No escape. <laughs> so, but, but I survive. I'm here. So, so anywho, um, so far again, nothing else. So, coming up as much as I know. So yeah. So you guys, take care. Have a safe New Year. Uh, I mean, definitely to parties because parties there's a lot of drinking. So just remember, don't drink and drive. So, just uh, be safe because uh, people tend to get wild up on New on New Year's and plus. And plus, on college football, I am going to be watching the uh, college football semifinal games, playoff games as well. Uh, I don't know what's my take on it. I am not going to pick who's going to win. So I'm just going to let it just throw up in the air. So whoever wins, but all except SEC, I, I don't want them to win. There. Bama can cross off my list, but the rest of the teams, I'm cool with. So yeah. So, so that's it, guys. So from the man in Pendleton, Oregon. With, with a famous YouTube account in the city, I'm going out. Take care, guys.